Okay guys, so we are out of World's Strongest Man. The groups have just been announced literally two minutes ago, so we're going to go through them nice and quick, give you our insights to them fresh off the press. Group 1. Manuel, Kevin, Pa, Gab, Ivor and someone called Tom. <laughs> so Manuel is the Chilean guy, the new guy, the first South American guy. Kevin uh, Fairs, is that right? Kevin Fairs, great. Paul Dwyer. Paul Dwyer. Gab is the Canadian Strongest Man. Ivor Atlantic. Uh, Icelandic. Is it Ivor Smokes or? Ivor Smokes Yeah, the, he's Man great. Him. And then Tom, World's Strongest Man. So that's group one. Feeling okay? Very good. Happy with that group. So let's do. So group Good. one, like I said, the guys. Uh, who do you, who to look out for in group one? Well, obviously, the, I'm not, I don't really know much about Manuel uh, and Gab, I think. But Ivor, he was here last year. Obviously, I was here. Pa, obviously, I know Pa a lot. And Kevin Fairs, everybody knows Kevin Fairs, how dangerous he was last year. So, But, you know, I, I, in my head, I thought I was going to get a bit like more experienced people and stuff so that's quite a good one for me the events are good in the event it qualifies for me and yeah all good nice and easy so mm, yeah for sure well, i think that's a good group for you tom looking at it um obviously the canadian strongest man has got some really good uh pedigree one in canada's strongest man so he's gonna be one to watch ivers cave affairs nice and spicy to start with so group two um we have the legend that is mark felix uh mitchell cooper uh, from canada Constantine Genasia, Gabriel Pena, Brian Shaw, Brian Shaw, sorry, and Big Bobby Thompson. This group is stacked. This is a deadlift group. So Mark Felix, great deadlifter. Mitchell Cooper, great deadlifter. Constantine, Gabriel, Brian, Bobby, amazing deadlifters. This is going to be. This is going to be spicy. This is going to be a spicy group. I'm I'm happy I'm not in that group. I don't know about you. Yes. That's that's not one for the faint-hearted. So best of luck to you guys. I think for me the ones in this one. Um, Constantine was, obviously. Penna. Shaw. I don't, those are the three I really only know. I don't really know mm, much. I think Mitchell will surprise some people. I think Mitchell Cooper. I've seen some of him and he's looking really good. So um, Brian. I'm backing Brian to get to the final from this. And yeah, I don't know. Bobby. What? I can't, I can't call on this one, uh, but really exciting group. Group number three. Oh. Adam Bishop, Trey Mitchell, Rob Kearney, Alexei Novikov, Gregor Samaski, whatever he's there, Polish guy, Polish guy and Mika Tosso. The, the massive so, Finnish guy. Big shout out to, uh, who's he again? Uh, Gregor Samaski. He's he had cancer and stuff and he came all the way back and now he's competing at Worlds again, so very good to see you know uh, this is going to be unbelievable battle. that's a I'm another mate I mean Trey Mitchell you'd never want to put, stay him on stone you know the good thing with Trey as well I mean he could look at that group and go if he comes setting on third he's going to go through in the stones 100% Trey can, I think Trey will get through that group because of the stones yeah. then you've got the likes of Rob Kearney Novikov and Bishop uh, who <laughs> I mean Rob Kearney lob press you know he's fast on his feet Bishop as well, it's just a hard one to do. Um, it depends, for me it depends as well if Bishop has been training for the actual, you know, the Worlds instead of the deadlifting and stuff, but we'll see. It's a stat group one. That's a spicy And spicy. also group four as well. So I'll do this one. So we've got, it's just a spicy uh, So group number four, we've got Nedsman, we've got Gav Bolton, Maxim Boudreau, Shane Flowers, Pavlo, the new Ukrainian guy who's awesome, and Martins the Dragon, Lisas. So this is this is a this is a great yeah I mean the standouts here are probably Maxim and Martins, um, uh, Nedsman is a great deadlifter. Shane Flowers, I've, I, Shane Flowers is going to do really well. I think Shane's um, it's his first world strongest man. And the thing of Shane as well, he's got nothing to prove. He can go and have fun, whereas you know he can knock out the big guys and that's mm. him. But yeah, I also think Pavlo. You know, I've watched I watch a lot of Pavlo in training. I watched him at Europe's and. Uh, he, for someone that's been like Novikov's build, he's unbelievable. You know, Ukrainian, they've got the heart. So, in all honesty, I think Maxine might win that, and I think it could be between Pavlo and Martins on uh, Martins on the stones. Uh, so, uh, Maxine again is really, really good. Look how good he was last year. He is very good at all the kind of moving stuff as well. So, and group five, group five, we have um, Coco. Um, that's his. That's his nickname. Um, originally from Australia, but now he's competing under the French flag. Great guy. I met him in Australia when I was out there. Really nice guy. Very strong shoulders. 
Um, so good athlete. Um, then we've got Kelvin from Holland, competed against him in Europe's Strongest Man. Really tall guy, very um, yeah, good at likes of like power stairs, stones he's good at. Um, so good guy. Eithor from Iceland, last year's World Strongest Man finalist. Great athlete. Um, he's improved a lot. He's a really good competitor. Um, Evan the Dinosaur Singleton. Um, we all know Evan. Evan is a great athlete. He's yeah, improved every every year he's done it, so um, that'll be a great battle. Um, then the Greenland uh, new guy, uh, Kim, um, he looks really good, great deadlifter. Um, so that'll be that'll be interesting to see how he does there. Um, I haven't seen too much else of him, but he seems a really nice guy. He's got his family out here, which is nice to see. Um, and then myself, I've never heard of before. Luke Stoltman. Luke Stoltman. I think every Every year I seem to get Group 5, but from my initial thoughts, I'm confident, you know, I've I've come here just like Tom, we've come here to finish top and win World Strongest Man, so um, that's what we're going to do. So Group 5, again it's a spicy group, every group is spicy, um, but yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna win that group and go to the final of World Strongest Man. <laughs> so make Evan Singleton's uh, uh, extinct again. I don't know which one. Group two is probably my. That's probably one of the toughest one. I think. Mark Felix, Mitch Constantine, yeah. Garpeni. I also Hansen. think Martins was the, like because of, uh, with uh, Pavlo, like you said, Shane's consistent. Maxine as well. Mm. I think that's a hard, hard mm. group as well. Pavlo will, I think, upset people there. Yeah. Just Definitely I think it comes down to deadlift as well. Martins is deadlift is. Yeah. Probably superior than Pavlo and Maxim's. Shane's is probably gonna Shane, Gavin, Nedsman will beat Pavlo and Maxim. Um well, just depends really what Just I'm depends, yeah. So great groups, absolutely amazing. Just you forget how stacked this year is. It's like I was getting nervous watching it, like one and two groups got I was like second and third group, I'm like, oh my god, please don't say my name, please, because that is insane. That is it. That's the group stage of World's Strongest Man. Really excited to compete. Basically, that's that's us just arrived. We arrived last night. We had a rule meeting this morning, so yeah, it seems pretty light. Some of the stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do it as you say stuff about yeah. worlds, but yeah, it's a light for world strongest man. Let's put it that way. Yeah, you know, that one four five k log I thought was very light considering yeah. <laughs> last few years been one fifty one sixty. The loading's really light as well. Um, I thought the sandbags or something would be heavier, but. Mm. Um, yeah, it's good, but that means it's it's going to be easier on our bodies a wee bit. But it's going to be very fast paced, I think. This year. I think the heaviest event will be the deadlift medley. Mm. Obviously, mm. that's obviously of course it's about uh, speed, but you're going up 300 to 380. That's going to be a hard one, I think. Mm. So that'll be the hardest, I think. I think event. It's, it's been good. So yeah, we had met all the guys there. Big squad of guys from World Strongest Man working on the show this year. Um, you know, shout out to all the guys who's kind of got us here. Michelle, she's been great, kind of organising organising all the logistics and stuff. The runners, they're very, they're going to be running around a lot. That's uh, so it's always a hard job for them, but they they do it so good. The athlete kind of coordinators and stuff. Big shout out to them. Um, so super excited. It's only just come up for half ten in the morning here, so we're going to go get some food, go to the pool, chill out, try and get more climatized, get into the time zone a little bit more. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. Tom's room is absolutely huge. We'll do a little tour around our rooms um, and show you what World Strongest Man, what our winning World Strongest Man gets you when you come to these shows. We'll do a comparison, Tom's room versus my room. So stay tuned for that. So, I'm renting these rooms out at £100 a night. <laughs> Anyone wants to come, join, come. So that is the group stages announced. Let us know what you think. Let us know your top picks of the groups. And yeah, it's super exciting. So stay tuned for loads of YouTube videos from us. Simon's going to be super busy. You excited, Simon? Yeah, you can shut up now. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. ding.